Hi folks, and on yet another Scorchio day, welcome to the Money Mental UK YouTube channel. I'm your host Andrew, I'm a part-time eBay and Depop reseller, and a mental health advocate. And today, uh, coming at you, unboxing uh, another wholesale order. Uh, I've been doing quite well selling the uh, unbranded, sort of crazy pattern jumpers or sweaters, uh, depending upon what you call them. Uh, of late, um, I'll say quite well, I've listed three and sold two. So I thought I would uh, order 25 of them, um, which I've done. I've ordered 25 from uh, North Pole Vintage or Northern Vintage Wholesale. It's part of the Sire Group. It's a company I've used before, not had the best experience with, but I've, my thinking process is that the unbranded stuff is probably better than the branded stuff with them. So that's what I tried because you know hand pickers don't tend to go through that as much. Um, so yeah, I ordered twenty five sweaters. It's cost me forty two pounds in all, so under two pounds a sweater. Um, I'm hoping that I get um, a few good ones in this uh, this haul. Uh, I'm expecting to be a, at least a couple of issues, um, just from the nature of ordering blind like this. But we'll see what we got. Uh, talk about roughly what I uh, what I expect to sell it for. Um, I have already opened this box this morning because, like I say, past experience hasn't always been positive. So I just wanted to check that I had stuff that uh, I wasn't just going to have to return. And uh, it's okay, actually. The, the order is okay. Uh, we'll go through it. I'll show you each item in turn. Talk about what I expect to list it for. And we'll take it from there. Um, so, yeah. First item, not really a crazy pattern as such, but this, I guess you call it cable knit uh, sweater. It's from Old Navy. Uh, it's not vintage, um, but um, it's alright. It's all Old Navy stuff before, playing like this for about 12 quid mark. So probably what I'll go for on this again. Bear in mind the whole box only costs 42 quid. I'm happy enough with that. Uh, the next item... Perry Ellis, not something I've come across before, but it's got kind of a nice design on it uh, with that stripe going down. Um, the stuff will need a bit of a wash, I think, before I list it, but good condition on both of those. You could probably try a tenner on that. I don't think it's going to be particularly valuable. It's not the truly crazy stuff that I'm looking for, but this next item is great. Um, I'm happy with this. Uh, this is a sort of vintage one, uh, made in Canada, um, so properly sort of 80s, 90s, maybe it's got, I think it's even got some shoulder pads in it by the looks of it, yeah, some shoulder pads, properly vintage design there, um, nice crazy pattern down there, the bottom, sort of Aztec pattern, whatever you call it, goes through on the back as well, 55% um, cotton, 45% acrylic, uh, obviously a ladies one and that will probably sell to a lady but yeah I think that's pretty cool uh, I'd certainly I'd try that for 19.99 free shipping uh, see how we get on so so yeah that that's a good one and the conditions perfect on that so yeah please with that one and please the next one as well um, it's a bit of a thicker jumper uh, looks to be an Italian was this one 87% acrylic, 13% wool, but again, nice, cool, sort of vintage pattern on there. Um, nice design to that. Probably list that one for 15 to 20 as well. Um, so, yeah, happy with that. And actually, those four jumpers there will probably just about cover the cost of the box. Um, next, we have got a few Christmas sweaters in here, which isn't ideal as we're not at Christmas. Uh, but... It is stuff that I can hang on to until Christmas. It's not like I haven't got shed loads of stock. Um, so I don't mind hanging on to it until, until Christmas and listing it then. Uh, but it's a, it's a call to American um, Christmas sweater. There is a mark on this one, but it doesn't look like anything that won't, won't come out with a bit of vanish. So I'm not too fussed on that. American living, size, size large, and yeah, it's a cool design. Should be a good 15 quid at Christmas and that. Uh, nice pattern on this one again. 
like the design on this uh, vintage again 100% uh, acrylic jumper yeah so that's a cool pattern again 15 to 20 on that one so yeah should be into profit now on those really so we're doing okay this one's all right as well uh, happy enough with this jumper uh, bill blast menswear uh, men's jumper 75 percent cotton 25 percent acrylic and it's made in the usa as well so that's a good indication it's a nice vintage piece it's got a nice pattern on it i think that should be going on for 15 quid next one's another christmas jumper but you know it's a nice christmas jumper this and it it looks kind of a vintage e um probably say y2k uh got tassels and weird stuff going on but it's sort of thing that'll sell do all right at christmas that 15 quid probably at christmas so again i did i prefer not to have any christmas jumpers but if i'm gonna get them at least a to halfway decent so can't complain um this next one this is be a bit more of a modern one be a genie uh, pattern's all right on it but as i say it's a modern jumper so probably just a tenner on that one they don't claim all these are vintage so i, I wasn't expecting to to receive free vintage stuff not a christmas jumper i'd say this is a vintage one sort of got well i don't know actually is that the london eye on it could be the london eye on there when was london eye built don't know um yeah that is london eye because they can see the london the tower bridge further down on it but uh yeah so that might be sort of y2k one uh 100 acrylic small slash medium made in china but yeah again nice christmas jumper for christmas so it's not too bad uh, and then another christmas jumper an xl Yeah, it's a nice enough pattern, so just do all right with that one at Christmas. Nothing particularly noticed, but I'll probably get closer to the £10 mark on that one, but still be okay. Uh, this is a nice vintage jumper. Um, nice pattern on that again. Well, say jumper is more of a zip through card again. Again, 15 quid or so on that. This one, again a modern one, a bit of a pattern on it, just uh, that camera, we need to get a new laptop with an integrated camera I think, uh, it's alright, yeah. it's got an Argyle pattern on it, but it's probably only about a tenner. This one would be pretty cool, nice thick wool jumper, crazy pattern on it, vintage, no side of a brand only slight issue on it is there is a hole at the front there not really sure what to price this at maybe 20 quid if anyone's got any thoughts on that feel free to let me know looks kind of handmade but then it has a label on it saying dry clean only uh, towards the bottom so um maybe not looks like there's a couple of holes in it if we just turn it inside out so yeah there's a couple of holes in there so not as good as it could be but yeah i might shoot 15 20 quid on that see how it goes let me know your thoughts on it bloody camera this next one isn't really a sweater but it is an eddie bauer which is a brand i've heard of um I would say it's more of a, a, a sweatshirt than a sweater. 100% uh, cotton, size medium, although it looks bigger than that. But um, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I still make, uh, still go okay. Not sure what the prices on Eddie Barrows are at the minute, but it should be at least 12 quid or so on that. 
Well, this is the worst jumper of the lot. The pattern on it's cool, but it's not vintage. It's from Asda George, uh, and it's got uh, a mark on it somewhere on the front. Yeah, a couple of marks on the front as well. So uh, I'll have a look, see if it's worth me actually bothering to list it. But I don't think it is. And it'll probably get um, re-donated that one because I've put the effort into washing it etc just not worth it it's in perfect condition i more likely considered listing it even as an auction but with being stained i've got to give it attention in time then which it's not going to make me much money isn't worth it this is a modern one claiborne i think lace claiborne i think a gal sweater don't know if there's any money in that uh, diamond pattern thing but uh, maybe a tenner yeah, like I say, I wasn't expecting, I was expecting there to be a few duffs in here, so. Uh, not too worried. Another vintage one here. Uh, made in Romania. Uh, nice sort of tartan style pattern, I guess. But, yeah, it's a nice boxy fit. Nice vintage piece. 15 quid maybe on that one. Another vintage made in USA sweater here. Again, that nice diamond pattern. Nice and big. Nice boxy fit there. 15 to 20 quid on that. Oh, I'm happy with that one. Still loads more to go. As you can see, I should be well into profit on these. Like I say, some of them just seem to be selling straight away. So, probably try and get a few of these listed pretty quickly. Um, and see how I do, certainly the better ones um, get them turned over get some more stock in because uh, that is the name of the game make a bit of profit reinvest uh, I don't think this one's particularly vintage uh, it might be early 2000s but again the design on it's okay bit of a cardigan looks like there might be a slight mark on it there might not be, it might just be the light um, but it's not what it's it's, it's one that'll come out easily enough anyway. And it's got these duffel button at the top and various other pieces again. I will probably list that for fifteen quid. Um, there you've been deep up, and I think I'll see close to that. Oh yeah, Renegade Club. So this sweater, but it's got a nice colour block design. Two tone. This is Mackinac Island on it. Probably go for about 15 quid on that. I think it's kind of vintage as well, so I think that's all right. So yeah, definitely going to make some good money on this box. This is Mex. This next one, which is a modern brand, but it is like triple XL. It's the larger sizes can do okay on on eBay. So I'll get listed probably for about a tenner. Uh, maybe more of Mex as a brand does better than that. I don't think it does. I don't think it's a particularly great brand, but I'll list all the stuff that I can so I can make as much money as I can. Uh, GH Bass made in Egypt. I'm pretty sure I've sold some GH Bass stuff before. Uh, this is more like a quarter zip, not really a sweater. This is just a quarter zip sweatshirt I would say quite a big size probably a tenner on that yeah I have sold GH Bass before for around the £10 mark oh nearly at the end another Christmas jumper this one was from uh, Next actually yeah so this is the Next Christmas jumper it's actually in my size so I might just keep this one for myself um, a little bit of a mark in the fur but I think that'll come out um, so it's probably a keeper but if not you know maybe tenner on eBay World's Christmas and yeah this is the final sweater um, pretty modern one this nice diamond pattern on it but yeah I think this is a 
fairly modern sweater you know, I might try it for a tenner let's see how we get on so yeah well, not, not too bad two sweatshirts that I won't list one of them because I'll, I'll keep them two sweaters sorry I won't list one because I keep them one of them just because um, the uh, as the jaw's stained it's just not worth my time to deal with but look at the rest say a tenner on that that one's one side say a tenner on that 20 quid say a tenner on that 30 quid say 15 on that 45 quid 15 on that 60 quid 20 on that 80 20 on that 100 20 on that, 120. Say 15 on that, 135. 15 on that, 150. 165. Say 10 on that, 175. Oop. Pause for a second, my phone's going. So I'm going to have to stop filming because uh, my car is ready for collection and they've told me that uh, I need to go and get it now, which I do need to do, otherwise I won't be able to do my shipping this evening. So, so I'm going to go get my car, but you get the idea anyway that there's, what do I say, 42 quid I spent on that box and there's plenty of profit in there to be made. Um, some of it will be more immediate. It shouldn't take me too long to get the value of the box back means that I can then invest in some more some of it will take longer because the nature of the designs or patterns uh, or because some of them are Christmas jumpers but overall uh, I'm okay with that uh, that box I don't think it's too bad at all there's a like I said there's a few pieces in there that I'm really happy with that you know I, I would be picking up picking out myself there's a few other ones that um, perhaps not so good bit less value but it'll be interesting to see if they sell and what they sell for um, but overall you know I, I feel that there's no issues there making a healthy profit on that box um, as I say one item of holes in one item the has the George one with some heavy staining on one item has got a small minor stain on that 25 items overall it's not too bad really um, certainly much better than I've, I've had in the past so Happy enough with that, just something a bit different to try, um, these sort of unbranded vintage sweaters and unbranded sweaters in general, see how they get on, see what they sell for, another string to the bell. Anyway, thanks for watching folks, I'm going to go get my car now, see you soon, bye for now.